All right, everybody, I am excited. My team group, 512 gigabyte model number GX2 came in today. Yes, this is the replacement from the original one I had that the um, Silverstone power supply took out. Now, it's a matter of resetting my system. Step one, remove the product key. Step two, remove the power supply. Yes, the RS Game AGV 550 watt power supply. Step three, installing it, connecting everything back up, closing the back, back panel, and resetting the operating system. Here we go. Work in progress. I'm excited. I cannot complain about it. I've been waiting on it for two weeks now, and I'm blessed to have my SSD back in motion. I can come off that 2.5 5400 RPM, 750 gigabyte hard drive, mechanical. Yes, I could go ahead on there and put my SSD back in for more faster speeds. I'm blessed. I'm happy. And I cannot complain. All right. Step two, the installation. All right, everybody, how y'all doing? There she go, she's in. She is in. There she go. Yes, my Team Group GX2 SATA SSD 512 gigabyte hard drive is in, and I'm happy. Now, all I have to do is basically install in the back, remove the, um, the 5400 RPM mechanical 2.5 hard drive out the way put this in and um that's all i have to do so let's get started you know it, it's a simple easy process i it, it shouldn't take that long to do it you know i just gotta move some things out the way like the um power supply once i move the power supply out the way as you know i'm on six hard drives here the mechanical there remove the um the power supply out the way first I have to get to the drive base. Um, what I might be doing is it makes sense is go ahead on and see if I can go ahead on and find some um pull out drive base so I don't have to go through this as not so I can just slide them in and slide them out easily like all other cases come with but Rosewell didn't put none in here. It would have been nice if they did, but they didn't, so um that, that's a big, big plus that if they would have done that. So that's what I'm going to do is go ahead on and um, go ahead and order those right quick. So let's go ahead and slide this baby out of the way. And if I can get it out of the way. Okay. okay. That's done. Now let me just go ahead and slide on up in here and get the mechanical out of here. Okay, okay, let's disconnect this. Okay, let's disconnect this. Let's disconnect this. I make it look easy, but trust me, it's not easy. And this is the thing where I got to go ahead on and Stop making sense and doing things, you know. This is why a lot of people choose cases that um that has a drive base sitting up top deep. That's why I go with the big extra extra long cases and um them big extra ATX cases, extended ATX cases, because you get more room and more hard drive space. Alrighty. I'm Almost done. Alrighty. And up comes the drive. Okay. That didn't take that one didn't take so long, so now let's Unskew it. 
install the SSD and after I do that then go ahead and uh, reinstall Windows 10. Here we go again, we're resetting everything, which is agitating by the way, but it is what it is. Because once I go ahead and get the update for Windows 10, that can go ahead on and allow me to use to install the um, AMD Radon RX 2 gigabyte um, drivers. I can put them in there, but it's not gonna be fully, fully inputted, so. You know, it is what it is. This is the HGST 750 gigabyte hard drive, um, 5400 RPM. You know, I'll be putting that back in my entertainment rig. You know, this is where I want it to be at. And, um, and that's it. So, um, let's just go ahead and get on with that though. And, I'm happy to go ahead and get my system back to where, to where it's supposed to be. Now I did do a, um, an, um, it's, um, an unboxing presentation video of this here, so I might be put, I'll, I'll be putting the link in the description if you want to go look at it, you know. Um, people was uh, getting a little frustrated with me because I didn't test the speeds of it. Just like I said, I don't really get into all that testing and stuff because I take my time and I study my products and what I'm buying and then I go ahead on there and say, okay, this is satisfied for me. If it wasn't satisfied for me, I'll spend a little more money like on the Samsung um, SSDs. You know, I'm not too crazy about Samsung, so, but um, it is what it is. You know, everybody have their own, their own ideas of what parts they like to use. And in my reason, I love Team Group. I'm going to be sticking with Kittering Team Group and um, that's it. Team Group and Resident Digitals are basically, and Seagates are all I use. So I'm gonna go ahead and be doing that. Just sticking with those three brands that I trust, you know, which makes a lot of sense because a lot of people is not having issues with with manufacturers not not sticking up to their codes and everything when my SSD went down and um and I reached out to team group they sent me out of RMA right immediately and it was still under warranty so I really appreciated that and I cannot go wrong with that so now I got my my hard drive again I don't know if it's still under warranty as is but um I just got it so I'm going to add another three years on to it and and that's it. Should be good to go. You know, this is one reason why I watch J2 Cents. Because when he sit down, and then like I said, with a lot of um, people having an issue with the manufacturers, is not really sticking to the product. And then we got to go ahead and, and choose and trust of what product we like to use now. Um, just like with Gigabyte, for instance, when Steve from Gamer Nexus had um, did their power supply and they was blowing up. And um, they got mad at him because they really didn't break their product up. And if they didn't back their product up, then why would I go ahead and continue using that brand in my builds? Such as their motherboards and everything. So with Gigabyte, they really did last on my list. My main my main group that I like using, my main manufacturers I like using is um Azrock. And you know, I have an Azrock built in my bedroom for my entertainment rig in my bedroom. So and they haven't really let me down, so you know, that's the big, big thing I like about that as well. A, a, a manufacturer that don't let you down when you, you're doing your thing, so. And uh, with that deal, said she almost done. <sighs> almost done. 
Just like I said, done said, I'll be putting that video in the link in the description below if y'all want to watch it, Jay's Two Cents videos. You know, to y'all new, to y'all new, new, new builders. You know, and it, and, it, and it makes sense of what built and what manufacturers do you stick with. You know, and that's and that's the the, the big big question right there is what do you stick with? And um, with that said. Cause this is a big question right there. What brand do you stick with? And that's the whole big thing right there is what brand do you stick with? And like right now with my cases, I stick with do it yourself. Rosewell, you know, I like, um, oh, this screw's getting on my nerves. I like, um, Zalman, you know, I like cougars. I mean, cases that you can trust and you can build with <sighs> down the line, and you can be happy with. So you know, a lot of y'all like Coastair and stuff. I'm not too much big on big on Coastair, but they do their thing pretty good. So, and that and that's the thing right there is that you have to trust in the manufacturers that you pick. So, just like I said, with my manufacturers. I use them, I build with them, you know. Just like I said down, I put the affiliate links in the description below if y'all wanna if y'all wanna purchase the product. You know, I'm not I'm putting the gun to your head and saying, hey, purchase this here. It's good. No. It, it's really up to the manufacturer, to the uh, consumers, to trust the manufacturer. And you know, if you're on a budget, you know, just like I was on a budget, I'm still is on a budget, so you know, just like with me. In general, you know, it's all about trusting the brand you can choose the most. Like with RS Game, you know, I trust them 100%. And I'm going to continue to continue to use the power supply, Raid Max, as well as Adhiba. You know, I'm going to continue to use those in all the builds because I trust the part. And one thing about RS game, they back their stuff up, so it, it's not really an issue. It's not really oh gosh, a problem. Rich. Oh shit, that's what I did wrong. I put the parts of my backwards. Okay, that's why that's why something's looking crazy. Okay, now we're going in right. Okay, dokie. Ah. Okay. As you know, I got to wiggle her back in there. You know, now we're good to go. All right. And then, just like I sit down and said, when you trust manufacturers, you can go ahead and be comfortable in building your computers as well as trusting their parts. Like I trust the stuff that I use. And that's one reason why I did my um, channel. So I could go ahead and show y'all, you know, you can go ahead and use whatever you like. You know, I'm not really saying the stuff that I do buy for myself, you know, it, it's great products. You know, you got a whole ton of stuff a whole lot of manufacturers that is overseas from China. So every last of our computer parts, such as MSI, AMD, Intel, um, Cosir, EVGA, Asrock, Asus, Gigabyte, MSI, all that's overseas in China. So you know you cannot go wrong with that. But um, as I want to go ahead and say, she is not done. I just got to go ahead and do the connections. I ain't gonna go ahead and let me do it on the camera because I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Um, this is this is one reason why I shared it with y'all. It, it, it's a quick, simple, easy process. It's a pain in the butt though. So now I just gotta go ahead and go to the reconnections, you know, and connect everything back up. And that's all she wrote. And and that's it. I want to thank y'all for watching again. 
subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Um, yes, <laughs> hit the thumbs up, which is the like button. And uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.